this ready to boot. Anyway, now. Nah. Now that I have sorted out what I did, I'll be spinning this, I'll be clicking on this wheel to determine which character will go first. So let's begin. <laughs> Alright, so looks like our first two species, well, our first two species on the challenge list will be troopers. So let's just switch back to the game view. Oh, now that window pops up. <laughs> anyway. So our first class and our first adventure will begin on the trooper. Now you might be wondering how am I going to handle species. Well that will be the one where I'm going across the line. And regarding romances. I'll be starting off with the, the romance that first appears on each classes. So, for example, the first romance for the trooper is actually for the female trooper. Oh, this actually looks good, and I didn't even need to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I guess all I need to do now is just see if there's any adjustments I need to make. Decide, well, get the name up and then the challenge begins. But I don't think there's any adjustments I need to make. So I'm going to begin. How alignment's also going to work? Oh, going to skip that. <laughs> but yeah, how alignment is going to work is that I'm going to start off with the main alignment that's tied to the faction. So, if I'm a Republic character, like the Trooper, I'll be starting off with Light Side. If I'm an Imperial character, like a Sith, I'll start off with Dark Side. Basically just ensuring all of the alignments sorted. So, we just need to begin. Just warning you now, I did turn off the music because I don't want to risk getting copyright. <laughs> Let me turn the chat. Or the chat in there. There's not a feeling in this galaxy like riding a hundred ton walker right through the middle of a combat zone. Huh, <laughs> kid? Approaching Droliad Village, sir. Scope shows small arms fire and enemy movements in all quarters. Separatists are definitely moving on the objective. Another beautiful day on Ord Mantel. You excited, kid? Nervous? You know, you're the first new entry to Havoc Squad in some time. So, yeah. For those of you seeing this for the first time, the Old Republic were, 
just to go into a quick explanation, The Old Republic is an MMO RPG made by, well, originally made by EA and Bioware, but recently Bioware had handed the reins over to Broadsword Entertainment, which is, well, so Bioware can focus on other games. Just to clear things up. Because it's got the iconic Bioware dialogue wheel. Alright. What made Havoc choose to bring me in? There's just too much happening on Ord Mantel. Guys in charge decided we need an extra pair of hands. I'm Lieutenant Bex Kolos. But everyone in Havoc calls me Gearbox. We're a tight unit. You'll like it with us. Let me tell you why we're here. The Separatists have nabbed the Republic bomb off a downed transport, a serious bomb. One of those orbital strike numbers. There's no telling where these grimy bushwhackers have hidden the thing. They have popular support and hideouts everywhere. Finding this bomb won't be easy. No mission is too tough for Havoc Squad. Hope you're right, kid. That bomb goes off and the whole island's one big crater. You'll get a full op brief once we reach Fort Garnick. For now, just sit back and... Code Red! Code Red! We've been hit by an AP missile! A shoulder launcher from somewhere in the village! Everyone, hold... Driver! Driver! Blasted, he's down! Backwater Separatists aren't supposed to have armor-piercing missiles. They'll tear up every convoy that passes through here. Major hardware in enemy hands. Seems like the kind of thing we should have been warned about. Uh, let's get out of this lie. And worry about filing complaints later, all right? Fixing things is my specialty, kid. I'm nowhere near the fighter you are. I'll stay and get this walker moving again. You'll disable the Separatist missile launchers. Understood? We were hit pretty hard. What are the odds of getting this thing moving again? Not sure, honestly. But it takes months to requisition a new one. The Separatists will probably have their missile launchers piled together in a cache somewhere in the village. You can bet that cache will be heavily guarded. Find the cache, disable the missile launchers, and then double time it back here. Got it, Sergeant? I'm on it. Good luck out there, kid. Alright. So now we're into the gameplay area of this game. So first things first, let me... Let me welcome you to the origin world for the trooper and the smuggler, being Ord Mantell. And, as you can see by the, by all the uh, explosions going on, it's caught in a bit of a civil war. First things first, though. There's one thing I like to do with uh, the Old Republic, and that is to give the troopers a specific armor seeing as this is the first trooper let's go mm -hmm. any trooper like armors that I have yeah let's go with seeing as this is my first trooper we'll go with the typical havoc squad armor Basically, once I get later on into this, I'll attach the, once I get enough credits, I'll attach this armor into the outfitter, which can allow me to utilize this armor, but not lose the stats of any better armors that I come across. Go. Currently, the Old Republic's doing a double XP, so that would make leveling a bit easier. Gotta take advantage of that double XP. <laughs> hmm. 
Nice work, kid. You've got a talent. There's no denying that. I, however, didn't have much success. This walker isn't going to be moving anytime soon. Don't beat yourself up. If it was possible, you'd have fixed it. Thanks, kid. Shame about the driver, though. Poor guy never had a chance. I'm gonna stay here and salvage all the goodies off this wreck before someone else does. You better head for Fort Garnick. Be sure to keep a lookout for Seps on your way to the fort. They can come at you out of nowhere. Sure you don't want me to stick around and cover you while you work? No, 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 I'll be fine. Hey, I'm not exactly new to this kid. Stay sharp out there. I'll see you later. There we go. So our new goal is just to head up to Fort Garnick to meet with our CO. And discover what's going on regarding that CR-57 incident. <laughs> So yeah, we just need to head into here, where this green border is. Excuse me, Sergeant. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you're the new member of Havoc Squad, aren't you? I'm Farn, sir. Private Farn. It's a real honor to meet you. Ord Mantell is my first post. I can't believe I'm here at the same time as Havoc Squad. And you're so... Or... What I mean to say is, um, sir, is that I wasn't expecting you to be, uh, woman, sir. Ma'am. Sergeant. You have an issue with female officers, Private? No! No, 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 of course not, Sergeant. It's just that you're so... Uh, uh, what I mean is, uh, never mind. If, uh, if you don't mind me asking, sir, what's your mission here? Why would Havoc Squad be sent to Ord Montel? Guy's never seen a woman in his life. The special forces, Private. We can't really discuss our missions. Of, of course, sir. Right. I understand. Top secret stuff. I, uh, I won't take up any more of your time, Sergeant. I'm sure you have lots of really important things to do. Get lost. Um, yes, sir. Right away, <laughs> sir. Come on, guy had it. Guy had it coming. <laughs> yes. So if we focus our efforts on M sector, I'm certain that. Sergeant, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. I'm Commander Heron Tavis, Havoc Squad's commanding officer. We're all excited to have some new blood in the unit. Let me introduce you to the other members of Havoc Squad. My second in command, Captain Zora, is the squad's infiltration and assassination specialist. We call her Wraith. Sergeant. This is Fuse, Lieutenant Vanto Bazarin. He's an expert with every type of explosive in the known galaxy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, Sergeant. Hello. Uh, good to meet you. And this is Needles, Lieutenant Ryler Durant. Needles is a medical genius. He's particularly adept at synthesizing powerful new combat stimulants and adrenals. Perfection is my art, Sergeant. It will be my honor to help you perform at your very best. And of course you met Gearbox on your way here, so that's everyone. 
People, this is the new sergeant I mentioned. Rank first in the academy in forward assault, search and destroy, and advance recon. It's good to have you, sergeant. I look forward to showing you what I can do, sir. We're all looking forward to seeing you in action, sergeant. Now, the reason we're all here. A Republic transport carrying among its cargo a ZR-57 orbital strike bomb crashed in northern Avalotan six days ago. Recovery units sent a team, but they were too late. Separatist forces had already stolen the transport's cargo, including the ZR-57, and fled. Someone on our side must have tipped the Seps off. Yes, we've considered that possibility, but we don't have time for a mole hunt. Recovering that bomb is priority one. The ZR-57 is... Well, it's serious hardware, you know? I mean, they can pretty much vaporize this whole island. So we'd better get it back, or, well, boom. We're investigating several leads to the bomb's location. But the one I'd like you to look into, Sergeant, comes from a Republic spy named Bellis. Bellis reported making an important discovery, but he's too deep to exfiltrate for a full report. Instead, you'll rendezvous with Bellis in a nearby village called Taloran. Bellis will meet you in a small alley in Taloran. Find out what he's discovered, then return to base immediately. Understood? I'll talk to the guy. I have one last introduction to make. This is Lieutenant Arik Jorgen, an operations officer from the Republic's Ord Mantell Infantry Command. Since we're on individual missions to search for this bomb, Lieutenant Jorgen is coordinating our efforts from here within the mission room. All right, Sergeant. I'll be overseeing your op through the camera mounted on your armor, so I see what you see. It's activated when you leave the fort. I'll make this completely clear, rookie. When you're in the field, what I say goes. Period. Understood, sir. Just make your way to Talaran, meet up with Bellis, and find out what he knows without screwing anything up. Good luck in Talaran, Sergeant. Dismissed. Okay, so we met our squad. We got Tavis, Needles, Wraith, Fuse. We met Gearbox already, who was who we saw at the beginning. And now we've met Jorgen. So I guess what's left to do now is to meet up with a spy named Bellis. And as I said, with this being an MMO, we would see many other players roaming the world along with us. As well as side quests to be done, but as I... Well, I mentioned in my YouTube video, I won't be doing any of the side quests in that. This is purely focusing on the class story. Especially seeing as I'll be doing through them twice. <laughs> but I will try and get some rest here and there and divide... Divide things as I go, so... With everything, I would say this would take about four streams for each character, because prologue, because the game is split into three chapters and a prologue. This is the prologue. I won't go into much details on the story, just how long it will probably take me. Uh, if my calculations are actually if my calculations are correct <laughs> should take me about four streams to get this done but if I'm gonna do the class story I gotta really stick to these bonus missions Also helps that it's double XP, so I'll definitely take that, because I'm nearly already at level 10.
you want to find more henchmen. Watchmen. Over there. There's one more, and bonus mission's done. Alright, now I can look for Bellus. Heal up. Great. Bellis is KIA. That's some fine work, Sergeant. Do you think you could have taken a little longer getting to the RV point? Sir, please come and assist me if you feel it would be beneficial, sir. This isn't a joke, Sergeant. However, there is a chance you might be able to find out what Bellis learned. If you follow procedure, Bellis should have left a coded recording of his discovery in his field box, hidden somewhere inside his home in Talaran. Remember, if the Separatists know Bellis was a spy, they may already be searching his house or waiting to ambush Republic agents as they come. Stay alert. You have to get that field box from Bellis' house before the Separatists do. Double time it. Roger that. Jorgen out. Oh, and before I do, before I continue, I gotta actually put something on quickly. Here we go. Conversation alignment gain. Basically, as I said, i am be doing things... I'll be doing an alignment challenge along with this as well, so I'll need a light and dark character. So I'll need to know what choices I need to make whether they be light or dark jeez this is only the second mission I'm already level 6 <clears throat> excuse me what are you doing in my house is there no limit to your nerve you barricade the town you break into people's homes are you insane you're going to blow my husband's cover, storming in here in plain view. What are you thinking? Bellis isn't even here. He left for some kind of meeting. Now get out of here before you raise suspicions. I'm afraid your husband was killed by the Separatist, ma'am. Oh, no, no, not Bellis. He can't be dead, no. Bellis risked his life every day for you. And now you've gone and gotten him killed. Oh, my poor sweet Bellis. You should be very proud, ma'am. Your husband died serving the Republic. What are you, a droid? He was my husband! I don't care about you or your stupid Republic! My husband is dead! Please, a lot of innocent lives are on the line. We need your husband's field box. Why should I give it to you? You got my husband killed! All of you! You killed him! Bellis was loyal to the Republic, ma'am. He would want you to help us. What he wanted was to make a living and keep a roof over our heads. You took advantage. You paid him to get himself killed. Your husband gave his life to bring us this information. If you don't help us now, his sacrifice will mean nothing. Don't feed me that garbage. You want the field box? Fine, it's over there. Take it. Take it and get out. Your husband was a true hero, ma'am. You have my deepest condolences. Please, just go. Oh, Bellas. So, yeah, basically, that is... How the alignment works. If, like, in the Old Republic, every choice... Well, there'll be certain occasions where there'll be a choice to determine your alignment. You saw a little red icon... If you saw a little red icon at the bottom in... Earlier on, that is a dark side option. So that would be the choice which would... Be slightly not good. But 
But yeah, we be running. But if you see like a little blue star light icon on the dialogue wheel, that's where the light side alignment comes into play. It's very easy to get used to. Oh, I'm I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> you yeah, you rock and roll. <laughs> So yeah, we just have to return to base now, with Jorgen not being too happy because we didn't bring it back and didn't bring back the Republic agent. Okay, let's take the helmet off, keep the immersion going a bit. You wouldn't wear a helmet in a mission briefing, would you? <laughs> oh, Sergeant. Hey, you're back. Good job out there in Talaran. Really nice work. I'll take the field box you retrieved, Sergeant. And maybe next time, you could bring me a live Republic agent instead. Lieutenant Bazarin here still thinks you're mission worthy, so he has a task for you. He'll brief you while I start decoding Bellis's intel. Oh, yes, um... We found an urgent lead while you were in Talaran, Sergeant. The perfect op for our new assault specialist. What's the assignment? Here's what happened. This refugee comes into the fort, right? Not that unusual. But this guy says he knows about a Separatist bombing. One happening today. All we got was his name, Miru. Because he was thrown out of the fort before we could get to him. I take it the guy's intel was less than reliable or else he'd still be here. Bums come here every day trying to trade intel for credits. It's bogus 90% of the time, so the grunts downstairs usually chase them off. I guess Miru could be lying, but what if he does know about the ZR-57? We can't take that risk. Anyway, we looked into it, and Miru is staying over in the refugee camp. See if you can find him there. Yes, sir. And while you're gone, Jorgen will decode the information from Bellis's field box. Hopefully we'll find out what the Separatists are hiding. Now get to the refugee camp and get Miru's intel, soldier. If this bombing's happening soon, there's no time to waste. Here we go, our first piece of armor. So I'll just slap that on. Then I'll head to the outfitter quickly to equip this. As well as an XP boost, because I'm not sure if that stacks upon the double XP. Ah, there's Miru. Oh no, not this again. What, you people didn't have enough fun beating me up at the fort? You gotta come find me here too? You're nothing but thugs in uniform, and your bosses are going to hear about it. Your bosses' bosses. All the way on Coruscant, you hear me? You're going down. You have every right to be mad, sir, but I really need your assistance. Look, what do you want from me, huh? Because I've had enough of you people for a lifetime. You said you had information for us earlier. I came to find out what you know. So, now you want the information. Well, you know, I probably could have helped a few hours ago, before that whole savage beating I got. But now, after all the trauma, I might have just forgot everything I knew about any Separatist bombings. Please, thousands of lives are at stake here. What about my life, huh? Things ain't that easy out here for me. Now, if I knew how much the Republic valued my contribution, say, with a few credits, my memory would probably be much better. I'll speak to my superiors about your compensation after we've acted on your intelligence. The same superiors who threw me out of the fort? 
I don't buy that for a minute. The situation is different now. Getting your intel is priority one. Fine, fine, whatever. Just remember who it is who helped you out on this, all right? I saw the Separatists hiding a bunch of bombs alongside the road near here. You know, setting up an ambush. I heard them say the bombs are time to blow when some troop convoy is going past. I don't know when, but it's got to be soon. So, uh, are we done here? Because I got a lot of work I need to do around the camp today. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah, sure, uh, any time. Oh, looks like we have to answer the holocom now. All right, Sergeant. I copy what Miru said, and this bomb situation sounds like the real thing. I want you to head for the road Miru described and locate the Separatist hidden bombs. A troop convoy is scheduled to move through the area any minute now, so you need to get those bombs defused ASAP. Double time it, soldier. We'll move out right away. Jorgen out. All right, so bomb disarming. Let's just move forward. But yeah, if we focus more on the, this purple icons. They're basically what would be considered the class story and if you want to go that far to the planetary storyline as well. So yeah, there's a ton of different types of quests in this game. As I said, we're doing the class stories, and only the class stories, but there's also planetary quest lines, which also have a purple icon. But it's on, like, main planets that you'll be on, so you won't find any on this planet. At least, not until later. Well, there's no planetaries on Ord Mantel. Some flashpoints also have the uh, purple marker. And... The purple marker will basically be how you would know... Would also help you with expansions. But yeah, we also have heroic quests, which are a yellow triangle, well, which are usually a yellow triangle with a little arrow to suggest that they are repeatable. Exploration quests are actually, well, they used to be a triangle, a yellow triangle with a star next to it, but now they are just lines of triangles well there there are multiple lines in the shape of a triangle and then other quest lines like this one they're just the typical yellow triangle so yeah That's basically how, mainly how it works in this game. Sergeant! Sergeant! Excuse me, Sergeant! I'm very sorry to bother you, sir, but you're the only person I could think to go to. All of the other officers I've met here are completely corrupt. All but you, sir. I know I can trust you. I guess I'll hear you out. It's my CO, Lieutenant Burke. He's scamming everyone in his command, and nobody does anything about it. Verk forces all of us to kick up to him to get safe postings. Credits, weapons, stuff we confiscate from the SEPs, everything. If you don't play along, Verk assigns you to the most dangerous patrol routes on the island. It's like a death sentence. Corrupt officers give us all a bad name. Someone should report this guy. My buddy tried to report him. The next day, he disappeared to Talleran. And the day after that? 
He came back in a box. You're in Havoc Squad, sir. You're important. You could talk to someone who matters. I'll inform my superiors about Lieutenant Burke's activities immediately, Private. You... you will? Thank you so much. You are so... wow. Sir, you are amazing. If that's everything, Private, you're dismissed. Stay safe out there. Yes, sir. Thanks again, sir. Alright. So... We've got the option to rat someone out. <laughs> ah, Sergeant, good to see you again. Superb work on that ambush situation. Adaptability like that is what Havoc Squad is all about. Well, we're no closer to finding the bomb than we were before. Not for long. I have good news. Lieutenant Jorgen has finished reviewing the intel from Bellis's field box. It's given us a real breakthrough. Nice to know the guy managed to do something besides get shot. Turns out Bellis was actually pretty good at his job. Bellis discovered that the Separatists have the ZR-57 secured inside their supply outpost on Manip Point, a small island just off the coast. I sent Wraith ahead to reconnoiter the outpost, and she successfully located a secured area where we believe the bomb is stored. Judging by the dramatic increase in the number of guards and the complex security systems installed, we're certain the bomb is there. Honestly, with security like this, Manip Point looks more like an Imperial military base than those Separatists hideout to me. I think the Seps are getting a helping hand, Commander. From the Imperials? That seems unlikely, Lieutenant. Surely our spies would have discovered any Imperial involvement on Ord Mantell long before now. The Seps do seem to be unusually well-equipped, Commander. We can discuss the possibility of any Imperial connections later. Let's focus on the mission at hand. Wraith can't breach the secure area of the Manit Point outpost alone, so I'm sending you in immediately. The Manit Point bridge is out of commission, so you'll have to make an amphibious approach to the island. When you arrive, Affect entry into the supply outpost and rendezvous with Wraith inside. She'll give you further instructions at that time. Understood? Before I go, sir, there's a lieutenant named Verk running a bribery scheme with the men under his command. Verk? I know the guy. He's a pretty pathetic officer. But nobody's ever made any official complaints. None that I heard about, anyway. Lieutenant Jorgen and I will see to this. You should get moving to Manit Point so that you can rendezvous with Wraith inside the Separatist outpost. Dismissed. Yeah, 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 I'm a filthy rat. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Let me just clear my inventory a bit. Appreciate your business. So we're just gonna head to Manic Point. Let me get my helmet back on. <laughs> Get some, it's not much, but it's XP regardless. Although this might give me an idea for something I want to try on a, a personal playthrough. One I'm do, one I'll do when I'm not streaming. Hmm. No talking. I. I'm not here for side quests, I'm just running by. <laughs> Did 
gonna find some battlers. Oh, that's a healing item. Okay. All healed up. Let's see if there's more battlers to take out before I speak with Wraith. Oh, there's a green there. That's usually good. What did I get? I got... Oh, it's just a chest plate. Gotta find one more battler, and then that's the bonus mission done. There we go, and we're already at level 9. Sergeant, no time to waste. The bomb is behind a force field. We're breaching it. Just tell me what to do. I will see the shield from here. You pass through and destroy its generator. When the generator is down, I will rejoin you. Understood, sir. Then go. There we go. Oh. I seem to have been caught on a wall. You know, I've nearly been killed a few times, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring out some companions. So like every one of these types of games, there's always been companions to accompany you. Like some of these companions I retrieved, I got from a system known as Galactic Seasons. So characters like... Altozok Odon, Venzel, PH4LNX, also known as Phalanx, and Amity, they're all Galactic Season companions. Car companions like Paxton Wow, Shea Vizsla, Master Lanos, Nico Akar, Darth Hexid. They're, they're rewarded. They're basically companions that were rewarded. So, 
Shay, I got from... Well, Shay's just been in my vault this whole time. Well, my mailbox. I got Darth Pexid by completing 40 PvP matches. And originally, Nico, Paxton, and Ranos were retired companions until Galactic Seasons, which a lot, which... EA allowed us to get them back to spend our uh, Galactic Season tokens. Let me just do all this. Amity Goodbye Amity Bring out Hexid Then bring out Nico Basically what these little icons do is just unlock the alliance alerts for a later expansion, which I'll probably get into later on. Like some of these companions are even customizable, so Shay, Ranos, Hexid, and Altair, they're all customizable. So, I can basically show off what I want to do with Until next time, I when I have all those, when I have the class companions. So, let me just head to armor. The Havoc Squad armor set and get that four times. And only one of those times, I do not need a helmet because... Alter can't wear a helmet. <laughs> it's it's cuz of his it's cuz of his long nose. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically what I like doing with the old republics companion, well, regarding the trooper. I just uniform them into specific <laughs> armor set. I know it doesn't make sense to have a Sith Lord in a Havoc Squad armor set, but it's funny as hell. Or a Jedi. Save some for me. Or a Mandalorian, but again. It's and funny. <laughs> Alright, one more, and then I gotta get with this inventory that clear. That's what you want. About time. There we go. Basically, slapped every single one of them into Havoc Squad armor. Now I'm just going to dismantle all of that because it's quicker than just dragging it off screen one by one. There we go. 
and I've hold on I've held off long enough we gotta go forward so let me just turn these off and this one Hold your fire, we surrender. We surrender. Please, we're all hurt, bad. We can barely walk. We won't interfere or try to stop you. I swear it, we'll just, we'll, we'll walk out the door and never come back. Just please, let us live. You can go, as long as you don't cause trouble. Understood? Really? You mean it? Thank you. Thank you. You're an honorable soldier, we appreciate it. I will hunt down each and every one of you if you make trouble. Am I clear? Y yes, 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 totally clear. I know, I know, I'm showing mercy, and mercy is for the weak, but again, light side. They dropped, they have dropped me a, a belt. Oh, whoops, that's not the outfitter. <laughs> Public soldier? How did you get in here? In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Go ahead. Take me in. Torture me. I'll reveal nothing. The glorious Separatist movement will never submit to your decadent so-called Republic. Hmm. No bomb. That's right. We're three steps ahead of you. Three hundred steps ahead. The Separatist movement is an unstoppable force, driven by the will of the people. Enough. Kill him? I'll follow your lead, Wraith. The, the glorious... You don't... You don't scare me. I... Ah! Wait, wait! The bomb! They moved it! They, they moved it! My Commander Keen, he... We took the bomb down to the coast and loaded it onto a sea speeder. I don't know where it was taken after that. Extensive security. Why? It's because, well, Safro, Viru, and Bol are here. Three of our greatest heroes who led us in our glorious... They're, uh, they're officers, cell commanders. They run operations in different parts of a villa town. They're having a conference, relocating men to different cells. They're... They're dead, Sergeant. Take care of them, sir. Safro, Viru, and Bull are priority one targets, Sergeant. And recovering their data on separatist cell locations and manpower is too good an opportunity to pass up. That data will be critical to learning the bomb's movements before it's too late. You have your orders. Get the data. Kill the officers. Go. Ooh, I value targets. Oh, I'm spinning! I'm spinning! It is a good trick, though. <laughs> I'm telling you, I heard blaster fire. 
I think we've been compromised. There, intruder. Ball, call for backup now. Sorry to break up your little meeting, but Havoc Squad sends their regards. Safro, wipe the data. We can't let it fall into enemy hands. She's one soldier, Ball. Kill her. Oh, -ho. I'm sorry. One, uh, I brought a friend. <laughs> I at least brought a friend with me. Well, they're down. <laughs> And I shall take your credits. <laughs> right, saves me having to run all the way. Let's fast travel back. Sergeant, you've returned. Oh, masterful work eliminating the Separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officer's data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you, Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. You can spare me the medical details. As you wish, Sergeant. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. Are you really going to be so ruthless, sir? This is a desperate situation, Sergeant. We need that intel. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Hit the scavenger camp. Retrieve the ingredients to cure Zack's radiation poisoning. Understood. Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. There we go. And we hit level 10. Normally I would hit level 10 around the end of the uh, prologue planet. But, obviously, with the double XP event going, I've gotten more XP. <laughs> so I'll quickly speak to this guy, because this guy's only exclusive to this character. Sergeant, good to see Havoc Squad colors in the field. Nasty fight out here. Can't tell friend from enemy half the time. Seps just take off their uniforms and blend into the villages. Still, we're Garnick's one of the better posts. Good for training, you know. How long you been in the field, Sergeant? Just about three years now. I don't think I'd be here if it wasn't for the instructors at the FG. Head up and see Lieutenant Forrest when you get a chance. 
It'll help you survive in this craziness. I mean, it's free XP regardless, but... Command sending out new tactics all the time. Stay sharp out there. Best post exchange. Always around. good to have Maybe access to a map yeah. ready. Good luck out there. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. There we go, so let's get the meds. I'll win that prize from Kismel. Wait and see. Prizes for bagging them up. <laughs> and hopefully. Sorry about that. <laughs> get the information we need. There we go. No. Oh. Hello, G. I'm I'm just gonna call you. Hello, G five nine F FTP. How you doing? Going to here. You, you're a soldier, right? From the fort. Please help us. We're really sick. My wife is dying. Forget it. Uh, I'll be fine, Zach. Just get that soldier out of here. No, Jaller. Please, soldier. The medics at the fort. I talked to them earlier. Please, tell them to send help. As long as you tell me what I need to know, everything will be all right. What? I, I don't understand. What would you need our help with? You've been poisoned by radiation from a stolen Republic bomb. What? You mean... Jaller, do you know anything about this? Quiet, Zack. We don't know anything about... Anything. They're the reason we're both sick. Aren't they? You're dying because of them. Zach, don't. You'll ruin everything. The movement... The movement sold us out. They don't care about us. They just care about their weapons and their secrets. No. I'll never betray the movement. Never. Let's not make this any harder than it has to be, ma'am. Jaller, they aren't worth dying for. Think of me. I love you. 
If you love me, Zack, you won't betray everything I stand for. Please let me go. Please, Jaller. No. Use this injector. It will cure your radiation poisoning. Both of you. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. No, Zack. Not or Shh. You're going to be okay now. I'm not going to lose you, Jaller. I'm not. You've saved us, soldier. You've saved Jaller. I owe you everything. All I ask is that you tell me where the ZR-57 is. Oh, right. The, the crate. Jaller and I helped move this really big crate. We got sick right afterward. I'm sure it's what you're looking for. We dropped the crate off at the Stronghold. It's the Separatists' main base. Thank you for your assistance. So long, soldier. Oh. Now we have a location. <laughs> Come in, Sergeant. I copied everything. Sounds like we're going to be hitting the Separatists where they live. Good work. Just doing my duty. I hope you're ready for this. The Mountain Stronghold is the Separatists' most fortified position on the entire island. Getting in there won't be easy. I put out the call. Havoc is assembling immediately, so get back here on the double. I can't wait to take those steps down once and for all. You and me both, Sergeant. Jorgen out. All right, let's take these guys down. Oh, well, it's like my cat has come to visit, so if I get a little distracted, blame him. so fast, Sergeant. You and me need to have a little talk. I'm Lieutenant Verk. I think maybe you heard of me. See, my boys here saw you having a chat with little Ensign Farn. I know Farn told you about my business, and I know you went and blabbed about it to some very important people. And now, I got a mountain of paperwork to do, hearings to go to, people asking questions, and I don't like that. Everyone on Ord Mantel is interested in making you happy. Maybe not everyone cares, but the ones who want to make it home someday sure do. Wise up. This island is my little kingdom. I can make sure people live, and I can make sure they die. So you better believe that I'm going to make extra sure you come home from your next assignment in a box, Sergeant. Don't try to scare me. You don't have to be scared for accidents to happen. I think we're done here, boys. Let's move out. Yeah, not a good idea to threaten the best of the best. Ah, Sergeant. Welcome back. Grab yourself a seat. You're going to be observing the op here with me. Observing what op? Where are Commander Tavis and the others? Havoc Squad is infiltrating the Separatist stronghold to retrieve the ZR-57 as we speak. Commander Tavis was very clear. Under no circumstances can I send you in to join Havoc on this mission. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I honestly thought you were starting to come along, but I guess Tavis still isn't convinced you're ready for the big time. I trust Commander Tavis's judgment. Maybe next time, Sergeant. I'm sure it's... Lieutenant, sir! We've got a situation here! 
Talk to me, Ensign. What's going on? We've lost contact with Havoc Squad, sir. Comms, video locators, everything. It's like they've disappeared completely. That's unacceptable, soldier. You get back to that terminal, and you get me Havoc status. Now. Yes, sir. Send me in, Lieutenant. They may need assistance. It'd be breaking Tavis's orders, but if it comes to that... Still no signal from Havoc Squad, sir. I think we may have lost them. All right, listen up, people. This mission will not fail on my watch. We are not going to let that bomb get away again. Infiltrating that stronghold is a mission only Havoc Squad can pull off. Lucky for us, we have one Havoc Trooper left. Sergeant, you're going in there. Mm -hmm. The ZR-57 must not brother? remain in Separatist hands. Is that clear, Sergeant? Yes, sir. We were hoping to get the bomb back intact, but we're way south of a best-case scenario here. So here's the new plan. We have the activation code for the ZR-57. We disarm the bomb, leaving the SEPs with nothing but a big radioactive paperweight. You'll have to hijack the Separatists' comm system to broadcast the code. This data spike should do the trick. I never thought it'd come to this, Sergeant. I don't need to tell you what happens if you don't pull this off. I've never failed a mission before, and I'm not going to start today. That's what I like to hear. You have the coordinates for the Separatist stronghold. I'm sure you can guess how much security they're likely to have. Breach the perimeter, use the data spike on the comm terminal, and shut the ZR-57 down for good. Thousands of lives are on the line, Sergeant. We're counting on you. Good luck, Sergeant. Nope. Oh god, no, no, no. I'm so sorry, my cat seems to have infiltrated my... Well, my area. <laughs> and now he's demanding attention and threatening my Xbox. <laughs> There we go. Just gotta do one more thing. Now we just have to head to the main base. Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there. Why do you like sitting on there? It is not a pedestal! It is a very expensive piece of hardware! My silly cat! Oh my god, my cat is just sitting there. Why? Why do you do this to me? Right, I'm gonna have to... I'll be back in a... I'm just gonna... 
take a minute to get my cat out. <laughs> Come on. I'll get them. Let's get you off. Oh, that's my nose. I know you like coming in here, but I want you to leave. Goodbye. Oh. That's that sorted. Yeah, I didn't mute up or do anything in particular because I knew it would take like a second. <laughs> right, let's just keep going. So now we just have to climb to the end of this volcano base to uh, complete the mission. Go. them down Gotta take down these Imperials.
You did it, Sergeant. That was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. Thank you, sir. Looks like we've got a whole new problem. Not all of those guards you killed were Seps. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so Command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. My squad mates are here. I will bring them home. Good luck, Sergeant. Hmm. Now, why would the Imperials be here? I think I might have to change my plans a bit because my cat seems to want attention. And obviously this stream has been going on for nearly about two hours already so I might actually call it once I finish Old Mantel. Almost there.
Commander Tavis? What are you doing? Sergeant, I thought my orders were very clear. You aren't supposed to be here. I will take her. No, Wraith. The sergeant deserves to know the truth. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I harbor no ill will toward you. You're everything a warrior should be. But I'm afraid the Republic no longer values her warriors, even the very best among them. You have fought the Empire for years. Do you really think things are better over there? The Empire respects warriors, Sergeant. The Republic's top officials, on the other hand, have decided to cast us aside. The truth is that no matter what they may say, the Republic Senate doesn't actually believe it can win another war against the Empire. That makes you and I a threat. Every Havoc Squad victory fires up people's imaginations. It fills them with pride, which means the bureaucrats can't afford to let us keep succeeding. We can win, Tavis. We have to win. The Imperials must be defeated. If only you'd been with us longer, Sergeant. You would understand. You <coughs> might even have come with us. The Republic abandoned us. During a mission on Ando Prime, they simply left us to die. But I won't try to persuade you. Honestly, I hope you die with your ideals intact. The rest of us will never have that luxury. I would never become a traitor like you, Tavis. Yes, I suspected as much. Oh, uh, by the way, good work finding the ZR-57 for us. We were starting to worry that the Separatists might, you know, waste our big present for the Empire. But thanks to you, we can now present the Empire with this magnificent tool of destruction. Glad I could contribute to your treason. We'd better get a move on, boss. If we don't break Atmo in the next few minutes, every gun in the sky will have a clear shot on us. Time we were off. Colonel Hoare, please give this sergeant the warrior's death she deserves. Someone's gonna catch you eventually. It's been an honor serving with you, Sergeant. Goodbye. There we go. And, I, and Havoc, they're traitors, no! Outrageous. General, with all due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in infantry command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to swing, and the powers that be say it's you. I guess word of the defection is traveling fast. Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. I'm General Vander, the Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Lieutenant. Congratulations. I'm honored. Now, Lieutenant... As the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. Be glad to have you in the unit, Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis's face before we kill him. 
This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. You're a good man. We need good people now more than ever. I don't know what Tavis is planning, but he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. I won't allow Tavis and the others to harm the Republic, sir. Just don't underestimate them, Lieutenant. Tavis and his followers won't be easy to take down. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shuttle prepped, and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. Understood, sir. You'd better get to your shovel. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. And we're done with Ward Man's help. And we got our first proper companion in the form of Jorgen. But if you remember my first goal, it's the Riz Challenge. And, um,. Jorgen here is basically who you would romance if you were a female trooper. Up and Adam. I'm putting on all his stuff because I need better gear because I'm dumb. There we go. Alright, our first stop is the cantina because rest zones are actually another place to talk to our companions. So, Havoc Squad. The best of the best. Can't say I'm thrilled about the demotion, but it's an honor to be here, sir. I realize the circumstances weren't ideal, but I'm glad you're with us, Jorgen. A spot in Havoc was the least they could do. Four years at the Academy, seven years in the field, decorations, commendations. Would have made captain soon if command hadn't hung me out to dry. We both know Tavis's defection wasn't your fault. Tell that to the brass when they need a scapegoat. But hey, water under the bridge. Command put me in Havoc to help you find Tavis, and I intend to do just that. I've hunted Imperials from one side of the galaxy to the next. Used to command the Deadeyes, finest sniper squad in the Republic. I look forward to seeing what you can do, Jorgen. You won't be disappointed. There we go. I'm just gonna head to the fleet and I'm gonna end the stream there. Honestly, I don't know when I'll be able to continue this due to, like, get so many scheduling conflicts. Like, I have a job I need to do as well, on top of other things. Not to mention there may be some other things I want to stream. But I am looking forward to eventually continuing this challenge that I've set myself. Like, The Old Republic is one of my favourite games. And only one of them. I know some people don't feel the same way, but that's fine. We're all entitled to an opinion.
I personally like the game. Maybe there are some things it can improve upon, like everything else, but other than that, I think it's a great game. But again, opinions may differ. I'm not the type to like judge someone for not liking what I like. It's it's only natural to have differing opinions. But yeah, here's, once we go up this elevator, this is where I would probably call it for the stream. You know, once this loading screen, uh, there we go. So yeah, this is where I'm going to call it for the stream. I hope you all have enjoyed this and I'm hoping... You enjoy me going through this little challenge run I'm doing. Making sure I gain every single... Well, making sure I complete every single goal that I have. So yeah, if you're seeing this on the stream, then I hope I get to see you all in the next one. Just stay safe out there and have a lovely rest of your holidays. That's all I have to say. And if you're watching this pod on my YouTube channel. Well, do the typical YouTube thing. Like and comment. And I shall see you. I shall see every one single one of you. Later. Bye.